Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. It is May 21st, Saturday, May 21st at 7.30 a.m. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking these pictures of my boss's German Shepherd. Her name is Emmy Lou, and she is our office mascot. She is always at our work. She does not like delivery drivers. She can smell a delivery driver from a mile away, I swear to you. But in the journaling, I was just talking about how Robert brings her to work and the delivery drivers are afraid of her. And it's kind of funny because when he first got into this relationship with his girlfriend, she just, a couple months later, it was Christmas, and she just bought him this German Shepherd. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this relationship's not going to work. <laughs> but it is. They're still together, so... That's where she came from. She was a little Christmas present to Robert from his girlfriend. I'm going to use Dear Lizzie papers to scrap these photos. I'm going to I have a larger photo. I think it's a 4x4 four four, and then this smaller photo, it's probably one and a half by two and a half inches. I didn't really measure it. So you can see there I put down some corners. They are a striped Dear Lizzie paper. Right there, that is some distressed ink and mustard seed, and I just put it on my craft mat and added some water to it and sprinkled it around a little bit. The larger photo I am putting on this red paper with polka dots, and I do mat this photo a couple times. She is so cute. <laughs> and I go ahead and just mat her on there. The white cardstock that I'm using for this background, I wished I wouldn't have used. It is a, a cheap one that I had gotten from Tuesday morning, and it's not very thick, so it's it's just not very sturdy, and I wished I wouldn't have done that, and I know better, but that's what I did anyways. So these are those DIY thickers, I believe is what they're called, and I'm going ahead and putting that mustard seed distressed ink on those as well. I'm really happy that I was finally able to pull out this, these Dear Lizzie papers. They're very nice. I, I, I really enjoy these colors. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out another square to set these photos on. I'm going to use these um, this paper with these flowers on it. I really like how they have the red. So Amy Lou is a girl, but she obviously doesn't look feminine and I really like that I'm able to put some red in there with the yellow and the pink so it's not you know totally feminine because when you look at a dog like this a lot of people find them very scary she's not scary she's stinky but she's not very scary she's like um kind of like a pup a little puppy she just bounces around all the time She's like a overgrown Pomeranian with all her energy. So that little strip I put there, I'm just using it as a layer. It pokes up at the top. I don't love that, but I do end up covering that piece up. And I'm putting this little cut apart card down there. Now I have a ton of this Dear Lizzie and I don't know why I'm just cutting little pieces off. Like I need to conserve it or something. It's, it's insane. And I go ahead and put that underneath there. It looks like on some of the papers I inked the edges in that mustard seed, but not all of the papers. And I do that a lot. I will forget <laughs> to continue to ink them. I do love the look of the inked edges, but sometimes I forget to do it. That have fun, okay? I, I didn't know how I was going to use that because that doesn't even make sense. Have fun, okay? That's just ridiculous, but I go ahead and put it on there anyways. I pulled out some of those uh, acetate, acetate bows, and then the um, little wood veneer there that says Darling, that I do not put end up putting on here. So I'm just going ahead trying to build layers. I wanna, I'm just trying to make it look nice to me. That is a little banner and it says you are my favorite and I had fussy cut that out of a piece of paper and there I go pulling out some more of those uh, acrylic bows. With this I, I had some chipboard and 
I think that's all. Well, those acetate and then those um, big old plastic bows. I don't think I have a lot of Dear Lizzie embellishments, but I do have plenty of the paper. And I do like to fussy cut, so it will work out fine. I can make enough embellishments to get through this. These are some wood veneer that I just had in my stash. I don't know the manufacturer of them. I do end up using two of those flowers. These two bows, I'm not sure if I had already done it or not, but I stapled them together. That XOXO down at the bottom is from the chipboard sheet as well as that um, white vertical or white horizontal line it has a gold hashes in it that's underneath that xoxo right here i'm spelling out emmy lou i believe those are studio calico letters i'm going to spell out emmy lou and put it on that banner and i'm going to stick that under the small picture yes um i live in the south emmy lou is a southern thing i believe <laughs> i'm not sure So it looks like I had lost some footage. I put that um, flare down that says yay, and you'll see these little black dots. And those are Ranger enamel accents in black. I had gotten those in a D stash. I love the D stashes because you oftentimes will get things that you otherwise would not have used. And I had never tried these, and these are pretty cool. I really like those. I had put down this wood veneer typewriter and on all the wood veneer I colored them with a distressed ink in mustard seed. And that's all I do to this layout, so thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye!